What's cooking everybody? Dave Altizer here with Kinotika and today we're talking about the top 10 things to know about the Sony a7 III. We've been using this camera here at Kinotika for the last two weeks and we've really liked using it. The first thing to know about the Sony a7 III is its autofocus. We have 693 phase detect points on this camera. We also get eye detect with this camera as well. In addition to the photo modes with the autofocus, we also have amazing video autofocus. It's really reliable and really stands next to the Canon dual pixel autofocus system. And it's totally something that I can trust and rely on when I'm shooting video. The second thing to know about this camera that I really love is its 4K mode in full frame. The camera is capturing actually a 6K resolution for video and then processing that down to 4K. Why is that so important? Well, when you start large and compress it down to a smaller image, it adds a lot of extra detail in the sharpness and the overall image quality. You don't get that, however, in the Super 35 mode, which leads me to number three, Super 35 4K. The problem with the Super 35 4K is it's not doing the down resing that the full frame mode does. It's actually skipping lines and creating a 4K image by merging pieces of the sensor together to create 4K essentially. So you do have a few more image issues with the 4K mode in Super 35, but it is great to have it in this camera because that means you can use crop sensor lenses like the APS-C lenses from Sony or even cinema lenses on this camera and still shoot 4K. So that's number two and three in one. The fourth thing to know is it has five axis image stabilization. This camera has IBIS or internal body image stabilization, which is pretty amazing because this sensor, like I said, is full frame. Full frame sensors typically don't have IBIS unless they're made by Sony. And it's really nice to see. That means that you can use old manual lenses, like for example, a Leica M lens from the 1960s that has beautiful characteristics and you still take advantage of IS. The IBIS also works with lenses that have optical stabilization in the lens themselves to create epic stabilization with both the body and the lens. The fifth thing to know about the a7 III is, believe it or not, it has amazing battery life. This camera is using the new NP-FZ100 battery series that's used in the A9 and the a7R3, for example, and it gives the camera up to 710 shots if you're a photographer and around two and a half hours of video record time, which is amazing compared to the old series of cameras, which had terrible battery life. Sony has now completely redeemed themselves and have the best battery life in the entire mirrorless lineup of cameras. In addition to the great battery life, we also have the ability to charge the camera while you're using it through either one of these two USB ports. There's a USB micro and a USB C port, which is the same port that's used on these new MacBook Pros, which means if you're carrying around your laptop and your camera, you really only need one cable to charge your computer and your camera. Number six, the monitor on this thing does not dim when you're shooting 4K. That may not sound like a huge deal, but when you were shooting 4K on the previous cameras, the monitor would dim to about 50%, which means that when you're shooting video outside, you just can't see anything at all. That's not the case anymore with the Sony a7 III. You can now shoot in the sunny weather mode, which is max brightness in 4K, and the screen doesn't dim. The seventh thing to know about this camera is it's actually pretty decent in low light. You can go up to 51,000 ISO and it can even be expanded to 204,000 which would be ridiculous and ill-advised but I've found that about 6400 is about the maximum ISO that I would say is clean you could even go to 10,000 ISO with some noise reduction and get away with it so the a7 III may actually be good enough for you for low light the eighth thing to know about this camera is it's an amazing live stream camera Connor and I use this camera for the most recent episode of cameras and coffee and we actually found that the image quality of our recent live stream was the best that we've ever seen we're used to using cameras like the Canon M50 and the 1DC those cameras just are not designed for live streaming you don't have the ability to have a clean HDMI out all the time you also don't have any type of autofocus this camera just gave us a really high quality image straight out of the camera we also had full autofocus performance using this camera and we were also able to plug the camera in 
using the USB-C port here, giving us just unlimited power. So we could just talk and talk for two hours if you're a gamer or a Twitch streamer, for example. This camera can just stay on forever and you have full autofocus, full frame image, great live stream camera. The ninth thing to know about this camera is it has decent slow motion. I say decent because the 1080p 120 frames per second is the maximum resolution that you can get in this camera and it's really not the best in the world. I only say that because I have used professional cinema cameras in the past and the 1DX Mark II is known for having really, really great slow-mo. But however, we are able to record in two different slow-mo modes. You can shoot in 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second with audio or if you'd rather have the camera conform the footage to slow motion in camera, you can do that with the s and mode here. The only problem with the s and mode is you lose the audio so if you're recording something that you may want to have the audio for I would recommend recording it in the just built-in 1080p mode regardless the 1080p at 120 frames per second looks really decent there is some image issues with 120 but once you go to 60 frames per second and slow that down to say 24 frames per second the image looks really good and it's clean and sharp and finally number 10 and arguably most important the price the Sony a7 3 is priced at a ridiculous $2,000 price point. I say ridiculous because up until now there has never been a camera with this many pro features for this price. With the dual SD card slots, the long battery life, the 4K at full frame and Super 35, the slow motion, the eye tracking autofocus, the amazing autofocus for video, the ability to have any lens on here with stabilization using the IBIS, all these things combined make this camera a steal of a deal and potentially the best bang for buck camera in existence today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, this was only 10 things to know about this camera. There's so many other things that are great about this camera. If you have something that you really love about it, let us know in the comment section below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of great content coming your way. Once again, I'm Dave Altizer. This is a $2,000 full frame mirrorless 4K camera, Canon. See you next time.